We've had a lot of guests on this show, but tonight's guest, Billy Crystal, is special, not only to me, but to all of Shanana. Billy and Shanana have been working together for a long time, he being the comedian at our concerts way back before we got our own TV show. So when Billy got on the hit TV show Soap and starred in the movie Rabbit Test, we were thrilled. We always knew he would make it. And when he heard we got our own TV show, he begged to be a guest. Ladies and gentlemen, a great comedian and a close personal friend of Shanana, Billy Cristo. <laughs> Enough chit-chat, Billy. Be funny. I refuse to be funny. <laughs> hey, Crystal, if you want to continue looking like me, be funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my close personal friend, Mr. Billy Crystal. <laughs> I got a chance to go back to New York recently, saw my old high school, saw all my old friends. We were tough. The biggest thing that we used to do was get phony proof of age, because we wanted to drink beer, all right? We were 17. The legal age in New York is 46. I think it's something ridiculous. <laughs> and the proof never went with who you really were. We used to get phony driver's license, draft cards, anything to get into a club or a discotheque. <laughs> 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 discotheque. It's very L.A. Hey, how are you? Discotheque. <laughs> The one moment that we all shared was our senior prom. Oh, we had a great senior prom. It always came down to the last dance. The last dance always introduced by the, by the band, the uh, laid-back MC of the band. We'd like to thank you, kids, and your great Ginji kids, kind of brother. And on behalf of me, Mario, Toots, and my midget brother, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. Anyway, sign now for your last dance. So we'd all get up on a dance floor, and we all became this one young couple. Remember? <laughs> Ellen, I think I just blew my gum in your ear. I said, I think I just blew my gum in your ear. <laughs> a good time. <laughs> I thought Jane the Americans look fat, didn't you? <laughs> With the corsage, you said it was too tight. <laughs> Ellen, it was a wrist corsage. You put it around your neck. I don't understand. <laughs> and me and my tuxedo. I look boss now, you know, but the stupid guy at the tuxedo place said he didn't have one small enough for me, you know? He didn't have a suit small enough for me. So I had to go to a toy store and take one off a Jerry Mahoney doll. <laughs> These shoes are killing me. No, they're my mother's. <laughs> no, I knew I was going to need some more height. <laughs> Did the Yankees win tonight? Oh, I'll check with you later. <laughs> oh, Ellen. I know we're going through some changes come fall, you know. I'll be going to sleepaway college, and you got to stay and finish junior high, but it could work out. It could really, really work out. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. No, I'm allergic to foam rubber. <laughs> hey. Sorry, that was disgusting. <laughs> oh, Ellen, I gotta tell you something. I really, really had a good time, you know? I had a big argument with my old man before I came, you know? He's saying, family tradition, you know? He wants me to go to the same school he went to. Keep the, keep the name going, you know? Keep the family name going. Go to the same school he did, you know? And I said, Pop, what's the big deal? He went to air conditioning school, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the man made it in Freon, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love you. I said it. It's out and open. I do. I, do. I don't know whether I'm romantic or what, you know? This... I love you. <laughs> I mean, Ellen, when I'm with you, I feel like an adult. Like I should be able to stay up late and watch wrestling. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm 6'2", Yankee shortstop, or... I'm bright, you know? Maybe I could be a doctor and solve a disease. <laughs> or even just shave. <laughs> Most of all, Ellen, 
you make me feel like a man. Yeah. And no matter what happens between me and you, you know, in the future, when we go hither and thither, I'll always love you for making me feel like a man. And if you uh, wait here, I'll go call my parents so that they can come and pick us up. <laughs>